first started this band, there were six of us. Uh, myself and David, we, we started the band with a view to giving people a place to play, a place to enjoy music where they didn't have to be really, really good, although things not are really, really good. And um, so I, I'm a clarinet and saxophone player, so I'm conducting. And Dave's actually a brass player, so he's playing the bass guitar. So, we thought this time that we'd let him play the trumpet for a bit. So, uh, are, you, are you ready on the stage? <laughs> oh, uh, what have you done? It's not a plumber. I spent... It's a trumpet solo. Oh. oh. What are you going to do? Well, you're not singing, that's for certain. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is David Beale as our flugel hall soloist in the I'm Zana Hill.
few years ago, I went on a trip to France and uh, with, with another band, actually. And uh, we went to this lovely, lovely little village, and there was a very strange gentleman there who was dressed in more like German costume, playing a clarinet, and he went straight to your ear hole and played down your ear hole. <laughs> and he followed you around all the way around this village. And it was quite off putting, really. But he played this lovely piece of music that uh, we're going to now play for you. And many of you recognise this. This is called the Lichtensteiner Polka.
Because we're a very lucky Generation Groove is to have our own arranger and composer within the band. And uh, there are a number of pieces that you'll hear tonight that have been either written or arranged specifically for this band um, by David. And this next piece was written especially for the band and uh, it's, it's only second public outing tonight. So this is called I Said Hi, I Don't Forget.
goes slightly Latin now with our next piece. And it's a piece that's been on the radio a lot recently. And uh, it's a particular favourite of a lot of members of the band. One particular member of the band absolutely hates it. <laughs> but um, this is a piece called Smooth. <laughs>
Thank you, that was a selection of ABBA music. And we're going to move on to some Robbie Williams now, and probably the most lovely piece he's ever written. It's Angels.
our clarinet section, who we've never really get a mention. So the clarinets, we've got Helen, Sue, Ben, Charlotte and Charlie. Give a round of applause. Okay, we're coming to the end of our first half now. We hope you've enjoyed listening to our selection of music. And uh, we're going to finish this half with, you, with a number called Bill Bailey. Now, everyone else has had to play, so it's my turn to do a bit now. Um, they proved this afternoon they didn't actually need me up here, because I spent most of the afternoon back there. So uh, this is Bill Bailey, and uh, it features me on clarinet.
let's party and this is this half that we're going to party. We're going to take you right back now to the time of Glen Miller. It's actually the uh, World War II Remembrance Weekend this year on the uh, Yorkshire Steam Railway. So uh, we're going to pay our own little tribute and we're going to play American Patrol.
is Little Brother Jack on trumpet. Thank you. 
you, that was Bilby at Buttercup and it features two more solos uh, with this time Sean on trumpet again. Okay, this next number uh, was recorded by a group called the Cherry Poppin' Daddies. And uh, it's a number called Zoot Suit Riot. Okay, this is Zoot Suit Riot.
half said, oh, that was that one that Rose Royce did. And the other half said, but Christine Aguilera's just sung that. Who's Rose Royce? And a lot of people um, that, that play in the band know a lot of this music, and it's now starting to come out again. It's been covered by different people. So we're going to play, I'm not quite sure whose version, of Carlos.
also would be complete without its piece of Disney. And this piece is uh, especially a favourite of mine. It's from the film Tarzan, and it was written by Phil Collins. And uh, it's a lovely piece called You'll Be In My Heart.
out yet. It's mine. Have you all enjoyed it? Yeah. Well, we ain't quite finished yet, but there is a, a little presentation. I'd like to personally congratulate the man because uh, some of these people, including myself, and I'm the, the blue bloke that makes the mistakes at the back, but some of these people have not played on a stage like this or in an auditorium like this. Uh, so I think they've done exceptionally well. Just stand up and take a, take a little bow. Dave does do all the arranging and does all the writing and, and what have you. He does everything else as well. Get out, get it get back you. But we've forgotten little Di. Because Di stands at the front here and tells us what to do. I think she tries to do. <laughs> she tries to bully us. Little Jack, are you there, young man? This is from the band for you. Daisy, if you want us to do any more, you do want us to do some more, don't you? Yeah. Well, just to prove that there's not just Dave that has silly hats. Guys, come on. See, we can all do it. Okay, now this last number was a smash hit earlier on in this year, and um, apparently it's a particular favourite of one little boy called Thomas, who's nine tomorrow. So, happy birthday. And I'm not singing happy birthday. Okay, so this is our last piece of tonight, and this is called Is This the Way to Amarillo?
aspects. Thank you. Good night.